Don't want to feed him coffee. Okay. Chow, right? Chow. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm surprised I got that in Okay. It's actually good for some people, but for people who work at the call center industry, who are working uh, night time and sleeping during the day, they develop that insensitivity to that. Okay? I know, I worked in that industry for five more years. They develop an insensitivity to that. Okay. But yeah, that's a good point. The dopamine does also stimulate, that uh, light also stimulates dopamine secretions. What are the things that, uh, that stimulate catecholamine secretions? One is exercise. The increase in acetylcholine is associated with an increase in catecholamine as well. That's the reason why there's a, there's a song in Filipino, exercise catecholamine on that. Always exercise in the morning. It helps. Okay? Because the less you move after you wake up, the more sleepy you are. But the more you move, okay, the more awake you will be. So we take coffee or take tea. What substance is present in coffee that wakes us up? Caffeine. Good. Is caffeine structurally similar? Two catecholamines? Yes or no? No. So how does it exert an excitatory effect on your post and anatomy? Find it again. Okay. Because it is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor, you take away the step. The silent AMP stays in your brain longer, in your neuron longer. And there is more sodium still coming in. There is no, it inhibits the enzyme that breaks down silent AMP. By the way, what does phosphodiesterase break silent AMP into? Do you recall? Please no, it breaks it into a metabolite. What is metabolite? A metabolite is a useless form of the drug or a substance. Okay, it's a useless form. Phosphodiesterase breaks down CAMP to 5' prime AMP. You need to know that? Yes, I might ask it. Okay, I know that's why you came, but it's still the challenge as well. Okay? So it breaks it down to 5' prime AMP. That is your metabolite. So caffeine. In coffee, it's a phosphodiesterase inhibitor. Because it inhibits the enzyme that breaks down cytokine AMP, cytokine AMP stays longer in the postsynaptic neuron, causing more sodium ions to go in, and that's why we feel energized or rejuvenated after drinking coffee. Is caffeine present in tea? Yes, yes or no? Okay, I will need you to check that because you know why? Caffeine is not present in tea. But a substance like caffeine is present in tea. No, not in tea. That's a cigarette. Theophylline. Theophylline is the substance that is structurally similar to caffeine that is present in tea. Okay? Now, for those of you, uh, for some of you, that drug may actually be familiar. So who is it familiar to? Is it familiar to anyone? Do you want to leave? No, I think you're a pharmacist. It's familiar to you, right? What's the other thing you support? Theophylline is a bronchodilator. It's used for asthmatics. I was asthmatic until the age of 15. 
I used to give your thing, I was looking at you. You used to walk and you were like, yes, I was. Okay? The Oakley was a drug I drank until the age of 15. Every time I had an asthma attack, the Oakley, you know why I hate the the Oakley? Because it tastes so bitter. It's a liquid, it's syrup form. And it doesn't have those nice flavors. It was just like drip acid. Okay? So every time I had a bath while I was a kid, I would cry. Because I know that bitter tasting medicine is next. And that will always have the in the lying around. The opening is a raw dilator, but it has the same function as caffeine. This is what's present for tea. Okay? So tea is a stimulant as well. So do you do you now understand 